previously. I was right. There was a block here. I knew it. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Fortnite and welcome back to Paper Mario. We are we just got the uh blue crystal star and we're continuing our way back. So uh yeah. Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? Hey, my great. Yahoo! You beat Cortez? Wow, you're really something. Yes, now that you've got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Um. All that shaking causes this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, then we could escape. I guess that's not much help. That's a plenty of help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? I, uh, have a plan. Excuse me. Oh, out of my goddamn way. <coughs> ha, it worked just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Oh, shit. Stamp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. Oh, God. Well, we broke down the wall. I guess everybody else first. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you, but I need to leave now. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Where am I? Hey, Waka. <coughs> Waka, ow! Don't hit me. Thank you for the bump. Excuse me. Alright, I guess I'll just go up here. Yeah, Mario, welcome back to your stop to you, my Star Wars captain. So have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring? Hmm? It's a great, I found the treasure. What? Spirit of all Cortez regarding the treasure? Ah, and you beat him, but you left all the treasure there. Arg, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh well. That's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? B brother? You, what are you doing here? I, I came here looking for your brother all the way to this island. I came looking. But ghosts attack us and our boat to sink, but I found you now. Your boat sank too, so you're all standing here as well? Oh shit. Hold on, how, what was that? Gonna go all goonies on me? <coughs> ah, what is that? Oh shit. Pardon me guys, but I mean... <laughs> so sorry to surprise you. No wait, no need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously, good job getting it for me. Boy now, ain't that the good old four eyes? Yeah, that is four eyes. What is he even doing over here, over there? <laughs> hey, four eyes, it's dangerous up there. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever, I'll spill it out for you, idiots. You may have known me as four eyes, but I'm actually <laughs> the great Lord Clump. Oh man, did I fool you. I was the mastermind in the shadows running in this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the crystal star. Because you know what will happen if you don't. Starboard cannons. Sports fighter. 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 Oh, I thought that was him talking. <laughs> Ay, yikes. What is what the was a pirate all this time? Madness. Well, what are we standing around for? Cannons, people. We must flee. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait. I have it. I'm a genius. We have a ship at hand. A fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true. We should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Javier, what are you talking about? That's crazy. This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him. Why would he lend you a ship, huh? He'll cream you. Cream you. 
Hey, I may be coward and a cat, but I still need you. I have a duty to protect you. We will be cannon fodder if we sit here and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am a leader and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Tomorrow. <sighs> Maybe two of the pirates come this instant. Cortez, we are back. Ooh, oh, what is it you again? Did you forget something? C -c 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 Cortez, I, I have to speak with you. C could you lend me your sh ship? What? What would possess you to me to lend you my ship? And who are you, anyway? My name is Flavio. We are in big trouble. We could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the tedious little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I could lend it to you, the ship is magical. It cannot move now. And the key to powering the ship is the mystical skull gem. The, the skull gem? You mean this? You! You have the skull gem. Uh, yes, I, yes, I do. So, so all right. What do you say to this proposition then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal. Do you not think Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from you, starting peacock. You must be very brave, or very, very foolish to ask us to such a thing of me. I should turn you into a pinata and throw a party on the beach. Oh, wait, wait a moment. Do not make me have Mario drown you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? <laughs> you rattle my forest, Senor Peacock. Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, check it, mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing a negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So Mario, feel free to take me any time for saving us all, but for now we sail. Do I just need to go back outside? Oh shit. Hey, we're coming too. Let's take the. Come on, all for one, guys. Oi, I know no Flavio Fancy Pants. I'm to go to glory. Come on, Captain Sash. It's been a millennium since I guys out upon the sea. Come, to the open waters. You picked on the wrong people. <laughs> I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, bassa boom? The fire cannons here, without my permission, you have nerve, mortal. What the? I'm gonna sink this ready old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voice, spirits. Take the ship and show them the meaning of fear. <laughs> Mario, my captain, it is your turn again. Get over there and do that, guys. Oh, talk to me. But, but, huh, I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you guys into seaweed. <laughs> Enjoy. You have uh, some nerve. Oh, I'll fuck. Ow. 
Ow. Rude. <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. <laughs> X not. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> Man, this is no good. Er, thought it was almost ace for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you see, Urchin. No way in, but, but no way out. Ow. I see. Um... What if I just do this? Hmm. This does not seem to be working out as planned. Okay, so I can't attack them. All right. This isn't good. I'll take it. Mm. Ha, fucker. Go away. Just fucking die already. Thank you. Shit. Hmm. And this is getting old. How can I lose again? I hate losing. I gotta think of another excuse for this girl. And with that, pow, I'm gone. We've done it, old boy. I should say he won't be keen on seeing us again, eh? Way to go! Eat seaweed! Yar! We did it! Way to go! Eat seaweed! Yes, save all game progress. Holy shit. Oh, that was frustrating as hell. Peachy. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> 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 
You blew it again, Lord Chrome. You're sick of me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. And leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. <coughs> I have one crystal star in my hands and Mario has five. I must take some measures. <coughs> Tech can't be in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I know it. I must know that information. I must know it. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech, really. Ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Okay, tech. I'll get going. <sighs> you will first go into the opposite direction of Sir Godus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Not that way. There are guards in that room, Princess Peach. Please hand in the opposite direction. Head for the room with the green lamp above it. Oh, my bad. This room. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Godus's room by becoming completely invisible. Well, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It is the machine in the back, but I do not know which potions were set where. There should be memos left in this room by x not researchers. Please use them as reference and set the potions in the machine. Okay. Let's see. No, place two potions between the green potions and the red potion. Okay, so the green and red go on each end. No, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Alright. No, do not place the red potion on the far right. Alright, so the red potion goes here. And then, orange goes here, green goes here, and what is this extra note over here? Place the blue potion next to the, yeah, obviously. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Yes, I'm sure. Very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. <coughs> oh, you said left side. My bad. Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. It 
Looks like it's full. I will heat the mixed potion to, in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. I don't know how specific this is, so I'm going to actually time it. My timer here. Uh, stopwatch. Stopwatch. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? Yes, I believe so. Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way! Oh, fine. I guess if that's the only way. <clears throat> when you go into Sir Gotis's room, first locate the disk with the recorded data. Then insert that disk into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please... To go to Sir Gotis's room. Oh, it's all breezy, walking around all naked. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why do the doors open even though there's no one here? Malfunction, or am I just totally losing it here? That's a okay. good. Just saying, Princess Peach is walking around very naked right now. <laughs> do, 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 do. This must be Gertis's room. Now where is that desk? Well, okay, here's his computer at least, but I still need that darn disc. Uh, it should be in this. I tried looking over here already. I totally tried that. Found it, this must be it. Um, yeah, now I need to answer the desk in the computer and connect to the network. What about the blue one? I swear to god I looked here. I think this is the wrong disc. I did it! Yes! I did it! It's working! Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Yeah, like I was never here. Alright. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion and revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one moment. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? <clears throat> what a relief! I was kind of worried I might never be vis visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? 
I am still analyzing it. This data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decide for the data, huh? Good, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. I've written my message, would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now, please go back to the room. Okay, take care, Tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Oh. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. Bowser time! <sighs> <laughs> Blech, what is this place? Why is the lights, <clears throat> lights so weird here? It's spooking me out. The lights are because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should the treasure be here? Should be treasure here. Let's put this goes to one of these creepy things and find a crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. P -p -p crystal star? I have no idea, really. P please spare me. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb mom somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, bad, bad. Gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. <laughs> Bam, got it. I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Buh, 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 buh. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Uh, is somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You're looking for the crystal stars, too? Sweet, this will help Crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually, it's you. are going to spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. If you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. <coughs> well, there, big guy. I mean, no, wait. What am I afraid of? You? Buh, buh, <laughs> You think you could take me? Then try it, Chubby. All troops, report. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? You <laughs> dare scoff at us. Koopa Clam, form up! <laughs> Whoa, well played. <laughs> so it's gonna be, tough guy. Gang war! <laughs> okay, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dark. Super bomb. Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. Everybody die! Everybody dies. Well then, that was easy. Ooh, okay. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use the ship, the Black Squall, anytime you like. A man, thanks to you, the ship can get us back to Rogue, but no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come on, everybody. I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real, let's get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is, then. Am I not correct? To see Captain Mario. Um, Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. 
Hey Mario, give Mario guys to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay here. It's the right last place to live without w without go any ghosts, eh? Yeah, it's very good. We'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way. Ready, amigos. Cast off. Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to see we go. That's our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly under the rock for until we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I'm satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than the balloons, yes. Even now I hit the crew ready in stock. This time was right close to this journey. Swahu went to the sea. Clavio is blessing upon you. Clavio. Hmm. <coughs> Alas, we return, slaughtered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rome for it. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, eh? But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, Master Flavio. But now please excuse us, perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What, what, hey, what are you, you're all leaving already, yeah, that was harsh. Such is like Captain Mario. We are anxious to continue our own adventure also, yeah? Yes, sir. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio on greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but sh you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If, uh, if ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kihoki to say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest wind blow. Comprende. Okay. Yes, yes, you we'll giants call you. Now in, in the spotlight is you time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. <coughs> well my doing fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you'll see me in town, I will permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Well, 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 old boy. I think we will head for the door. Hmm. I think we should head to for the door at this point. Can't talk at all, like ever. Oh, on your toes, old bean. There can only be an email from Princess Peach. I can't do British accent anymore. Dear Mario, I have good news. I don't know when I'm being when I'm being helped. There's an old computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it. Strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once this analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of your plans. I'll email you. Again, once I learn more, be good, okay, Princess Peach? Great Goober, your princess is none other none one to be trifled with. Mm, to be trifled with. You best get to work, too. I can't. Where is my British accent? Mm, go, good job. I've been doing Slavia's accent for so long, I can't do a British accent anymore. Um, I actually, before we finish that off, I move, please. Are you okay? Okay. You're good. That's actually... I'm actually gonna go spin the... I'll be back for you. Eh. Hey, Merlin. Oh, an impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star chart, I saw a potential sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure this set mystery out, come and tell me immediately. I, I've already got that crystal star. Pretty sure. All right, let's start with Bobbery. I got five, five, at the uh, freaking Cortez's place. Shazubi. 
<sighs> All right. Yes. Isabella? Yes. Shazibi. Shazubi. Then you may go. Okay. Hold fast. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, interesting. All right, let's uh get you back out. So I can move faster with you. And I want to make sure. No, I still can't get this chest. All right. Uh, let's end this beautiful quest with a word from our brother, Luigi. I'm hazy. I must say, Luigi's a great actor. One of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear in stages everywhere. Going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, the Ouija will be grass. Uh, give me one second. I want to see what's over here. There's got to be a reason this is here, right? What in the hell is this? Whose room is this? Um, I have a feeling we can come here later. Mm, maybe not right now, though. Hmm. Alright, now we'll talk to Luigi. Alright, thank you. <coughs> well, I got another piece of the Marvelous Compass, says Jazzafra's town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Ooh. It's a pretty nutty, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you wanna hear, bro? That's a proud one. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazafra's town, we were overcome with a glitz and a glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told them we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called drama llama pla plaque might in fact be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery, The Fiery Hat, and Social Awareness. The script was great, but I really got ho host role, my role, my part. It was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Gra grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everybody but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just brought me out so more, so I stuck out the back door. But wow, outside were my fans. Tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass, which pointed north. I pointed to the rapturous ruins in the Grimble Forest, then the voice again. Oh, my cherished princess, Claire, how you suit me. I will be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. So, um, yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Roport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Well, of course they loved grass. They're flowers. Okay. Uh, this is a terrible place to save, but I'm going to do it. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got uh, more badge points. 
to head at all because these enemies are executed. Interesting. I smash. Interesting. Tornado jump. Hammer throw. Uh... I'm gonna use this and this. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna end that episode there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunette setting out.